sleep. Uh, hello everybody, this is me, Dusty Circuit here, and welcome to uh, another ACO Player of the Month. Welcome everyone. So guys, uh, go ahead and sleep here really quick. There we go. Um, so today we are going to be doing our October Player of the Month and we'll go over a couple things. And then after that, we're going to go straight into Jakey's birthday party. So uh, for all of you, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, if you haven't gone to the Happening Today channel, please go do that and download the pack uh, if you're going to be part of the birthday party. You'll need to have that on. All right, so is everyone here? Are we waiting on anyone? Nope, okay, perfect. All right, so guys, uh, first of all, wow, like Minecon, that was amazing. Um, what is it called, a Minecon or Minecraft Live? Minecraft Live, yeah. yeah did they change the name or? Yeah, they changed it. Yeah, they they, they, they can't really Live. have a mine, they right. can't really have Minecon. Yeah, true, true. Um, but thank you guys. We had at one point, I think I saw 29 people watching the stream. Uh, everyone stayed quiet, muted. It was amazing. You guys did great. So thank you for that. Um, it was kind of cool to get to watch that together and us all chat. And, and Damn, uh, I'm going to throw a damn poison potion on your butt. I swear to Lord. What? I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with act the actual player of the month. So this month, uh, we had a, almost a record number of votes. You guys did great. Taking the moment, taking a few moments to click the link and vote. And for those of you, again, that are new that don't know how this works, I do not pick the player of the month. I do not even vote for it. None of the admins vote. And so what we do is... Um, uh, we give the poll to you guys. You guys choose. Sometimes when you vote for someone, you put some really nice words about why you voted for them. Um, sometimes you just put the name. Either way is fine. And But it's great because this puts the power in your hands. You guys get to decide who it is that you wanted to see as your player of the month. Um, this month was won by a landslide, and that does not usually happen, as you guys know. Um, the last probably four or five months, it's been really neck and neck with a few people or we tend to get like everybody gets a few votes and this time thank you thank you Timo. um this time it was a little bit different uh we had one player really stand out and the the kind of irony of it is this player doesn't have a lot of in-game time and i i bring that up because you guys all know when i when i do whenever i tweet something i use the hashtag more than a game right and that's because ACO extends out more than just the actual physical game that we're in right now. Um, ACO is a community and we are a community that supports each other. And the person um, that got voted for this, some of the comments on there um, had a lot to do with how supportive they are um, in Discord, specifically the live channel. And because of that, um, this player ended up, like I said, winning. Unfortunately, the player is not here right now. Um, let me double check. I don't see them. Um, but I would like to give a huge congrats to Soul. I'm sorry, he goes by Micah now. Micah, who <laughs> is not yeah. here right now. Um, but congratulations, Soul. Uh, like I said, got an overwhelmingly mm. amount of votes, and the the everything that was said was really supportive and just talked about how. Um, you know, it's nice to know they always have a friend um, and someone that will always be giving them support. And even though this player does go through quite a bit of their own, as you guys know, um, they they are not negative. They they take all the negativity in their lives and they turn it around and they become very positive and they help. Oh my gosh! Somebody just post <laughs> posted the the new squid. There's already a plushie. That's so cute. Oh, they go. Oh, my right. gosh. Um, I'm I'm still really hyped from the <laughs> from my life. Yeah, I'm like it's really hard to focus right now. Uh, but anyways, Soul. Oh my gosh, Soul has been you know a member of since the day he turned 15. Um, he has been a member with us, and we have supported him through stuff. But he again just turns around and gives that to each of you, and it's so great to see. And it's really what ACO is about is just us supporting each other. And so, um, really, really congrats to Soul to Micah wherever you are. Um, I'm sure he will watch Dusty's video later. So, all right. So, and Discord. what's that? And he'll see Discord voice chat. Text. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Make sure you um, guys, <laughs> let him know. Say congrats. Once he gets on the server, um, I will get his picture. It's a little harder for him to be in game, as some of you know. 
But um, like yeah. I said, even, even with that limitation, this shows that he makes such an impact. And again, it shows how ACO is more than just a game. We're not just here sitting in this player's month building. Um, we're a community and that, that's what we're about. So yeah. congrats. All right, as far as business to go over, I do have two things um, only today. And um, then I'm gonna go over a few upcoming events. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is um, the Life Channel. You guys have done a great job with giving each other the support. For those that don't know what the Life Channel is about, um, it's a channel that we have where you're able to talk about everything that goes on in life, the good, the bad, the great, the ugly. It doesn't matter. If it's happening to you, this is a very safe place that you can talk about it. Um, I know for some of you, um, it's your only outlet. It's the only place in your life that you can actually talk about some hard things. And I do understand that. And I appreciate that you guys um, use it and the support that you get with it. Yeah, some of you use it a lot. Um, it's okay. That's what it's there for. Now, a few things I want to kind of touch on is when the Life Channel was originally made, um, it was more of a place that someone could just kind of vent and get what it is out but not necessarily have to have uh, answers to. So let's say you're just very upset and you're frustrated and you just want to get it out. It doesn't necessarily mean that I or MC Rocks or Mod Killer or Ben have to really say anything because maybe you don't necessarily want advice on it. You just want someone to hear you. That is okay. All right. So if there's times that it feels like, well, maybe nobody's responding, it could be that Number one, they don't know what to say. They've never been through what you're going through. Or two, they're not really sure um, what is the good advice and how to react on it. Um, there's times I'm the same way. I see things, but I don't necessarily know what to say because I'm not in your place. I've not gone through that before. And I don't want to give advice that might be very poor advice, right? Um, and so just kind of remember that with you guys as well. If it's not something you've actually been through, you know, it's okay to always give supportive words, like, you know, words of comfort, but um, be a little bit on the careful side with things like adjusting diagnoses um, or, you know, something of that matter. Because if we just don't know the entire situation, we just need to be a little bit more careful with that. Um, all right. So who's typing? Oh, BB is typing. Um, oh, sorry. That's all right. No, you're fine. So, uh, okay. Another thing with the Life Channel is um, the usage of cuss words, all right? So originally when we started, you know, you guys know the ACO rule. We You cannot type cuss words. That's the rule we have here. Um, and so we were you're letting it be okay in the Life Channel with spoilers used if it absolutely has to be. Meaning like this was a direct thing said to me and I'm really upset or I don't know what to do and it has to be spoiled, okay? Um, that has kind of evolved, it seems, in the past few months, and now there's a lot of cussing in there. Now, here's the thing. You guys are doing a great job using spoilers, but there's still a lot of unnecessary cussing. If you're mad, say you're mad. I'm mad. You know, I, I'm not happy. I'm not, this isn't okay what's happening or, you know, whatever the situation is, but please try to pull back on the cussing because players that want to click on that spoiler, they want to see what's going on, they're, they're kind of getting bombarded with a lot of cussing. Um, if it's needed, absolutely needed, like it, the only way to completely tell the story is to add it in, we understand. That is okay if it's used correctly. Just please try to cut back on any unnecessary um, cussing. Um, references to alcohol and drugs are not allowed. Um, if it comes to you, like, you know, if you had something very traumatic happen to you and you have to say, like, um, you know, if you're telling a story and you're like, Joshua was drunk and this happened, that's okay. It's a reference to somebody else having that. And it had to do with a direct, um, something directly that happened to you. That's the only kind of time that is, a, is allowed from here on out. I need it really made clear that. Um, no discussing of alcohol or drugs. Our players here are 15 and up. And so a good chunk of you are um, under age of what you would be allowed to drink. And drugs and alcohol just have no business in ACO, specifically um, Minecraft anyway. <laughs> really has no business in Minecraft. Sorry, I had that backwards. No business in Minecraft, specifically ACO. Um, we're a very safe environment and that can cause anxiety for some people to read due to the fact that maybe in their life they've had people that have used things 
um, and that have negatively impacted them. So again, just kind of one of those um, from here and out. And, and again, some of this is newer stuff. We're running into new territory, things that haven't come up. Nobody's in trouble. Nobody's, you know, looked down upon because they're saying these things. It's just more of we're trying to make sure that the live channel stays a safe place for everyone to be able to be in and, and listen and support each other and without, you know, things um, that actually cause them anxiety. So thank you for the donut, Millie. Um, all right, so Life Channel. Okay, um, other ways, I wanna say you guys are doing great. I love the support. I love seeing you guys, um, you know, support each other. The only other thing I kind of have to say about it is, remember, um, and, and this goes kind of back to the beginning of Life Channel, if you are feeling like you want to self-harm or feelings worse than that, that is not really for Life Channel. That is for your parents, your therapist, um, someone IRL. Um, if a player was to say something in the life channel um, of not wanting to have a very positive outcome, okay, I'm trying to be very careful what I say, um, with themselves as far as self-harm or something worse, you are going to cause a lot of anxiety and panic in every person that reads that because they have no possible way to help you online. Nobody knows your real names. Nobody knows your addresses. Nobody knows what even state, city, country you live. Might know country. Nobody knows where you live to where they can get authorities or somewhere to help you ASAP. So you can imagine how that would be extremely scary to see a very close friend of yours, someone that you very much care about, be really upset and you cannot do anything about it. I get a few times players will come to me and say, I'm really worried about this player. Um, if you feel like you do not have anyone else to talk to about that, we do ask as admins, you come to us. We can reach out to your parents. We do have that information. I can get a hold of, I'm gonna use Riley as an example, as a joke. I can get a hold of Riley's mom if Riley has, a, has something really wrong, okay? Um, I cannot get a hold of, you cannot get a hold of, okay, let me give this a better example. Um, let me see, two players. Mod, mean, Killer, Mod Killer is extremely concerned um, about something Jakey said in the live channel. Mod Killer cannot reach out to Jakey's mom. Now, if Jakey went to me instead of the live channel or, or AF, then we can turn around and get a hold of Jakey's mom, okay? Or at least an attempt the best we can. We also have a few more... Um, <laughs> please don't tell Dreamberry's mom. Um, we do have, you know, ways to to try to get a hold of adults in their lives if possible. So um, again, ideally, if you guys are feeling that upset, that strong, and trust me, I do understand this year has been way harder on, on each of you than it has in the in the past few years. So I do understand that obviously a lot of depression and anxiety is really high with everyone. Um if it gets to that point, though, I need you to not post that in Life Channel. I need you to talk to an admin. You can talk to an admin on AC. You can talk to an admin here. Um, but most importantly, please try to talk to a parent. If you're not comfortable with your parent, find someone else IRL. It has to be in real life because they're the ones that know how to get a hold of you to check on you when we can't. I had a player I was really worried about recently, and... I had really no way to get a hold of them <laughs> or a family member. And it, it's scary. And if, if that's scary for me on my end as an admin, it's got to be very scary for some of you. So again, Soul let's notice just, now. what's that? Soul is noticed now. Oh, has he? Oh, great, great, great. So yeah. So anyway, so just one of those things to keep in mind. Again, nobody's in trouble. Nobody's like, you know, I'm not upset at anyone. It, again, this is new territory. This is new like areas that we're just not familiar with that has kind of been evolving and that's because life's evolving you know 2020 is evolving so i do understand where a lot of this is hard for you all right um so does anyone have any questions about life channel before i move on you can also unmute if you need to ask a question All right, so um, with that all being said, I wanna go over a couple things that we have coming up and I'm gonna get all of this put into the events channel and also into our calendar. We do have a calendar, um, let's see. All right, so looking at dates here, guys. Next 
Um, we don't have anything next weekend. The, uh, the 17th, guys, is going to be homecoming. I know not everyone quite understands what homecoming is, but in the U.S., we have um, a tradition in high schools, actually college too, right, BB? Yeah, college does homecoming. Um, not not in the yeah. same form, dances, but we have big games and stuff. So we have, so anyway, homecoming is, the idea behind homecoming is communities come together and, you know, graduates of, let's say, a, a school, um, they come back for homecoming. It's a big football game. And there's always a big dance for the current students, things like that. We have royalty, like the homecoming queen, homecoming king, things like that. So it's a big American dance. With schools still being mostly virtual right now here in uh, the U.S., we the players are not able to have their homecoming, just like they weren't able to have prom. So a few players were kind of insistent that we have this. And here we are. So on the 17th will be um, ACO homecoming. Now we're going to do homecoming week. So for some of you that um, are familiar with how high school is, which high school for um, like in the UK would be school and then college, um, we're going to be doing, um, we are going to be uh, having homecoming week. So expect the week before to have little things um, each day, kind of like what we did for prom. You guys remember we did the different themes each day. Um, you guys had stuff to uh, do like at spawn, things like that. So, yep. So that's um, just keep in mind, we're going to be having stuff. So keep your eye on that. The name of the homecoming dance is you guys ready? Blue wall. Oh, I wish <laughs> the fall ball. So that's hey. going to be the name. It's going to be a very inspired by a certain person in this call here who copied my tree on ACO Spawn. You don't know what fall is? Uh, you're welcome. Uh, maybe. Fall you're is very like... welcome. <laughs> you would not have this event without me. That's so important. <laughs> well, actually, they would. You just volunteer to make trees? Thanks, BB. Oh, Blue, yeah. can you explain Thanks, the baby. difference of the Teleberry homecoming from this one? Uh, okay. Teleberry Homecoming was a private event because two players wanted to go to Homecoming together that could not, but their schools actually did have Homecoming. So this year, schools do not have Homecoming, so we're doing a virtual event for everybody. That's the difference. It's because Ben was asking about. Oh, what that yeah, that was a one. That was a, that was not a, a server event. That was just something for two players. So no, I, no, I was saying that we did. Didn't we do one last year? No, well. we did prom. We did prom. Oh, yeah. prom that was, that, that's prom. what they got. It, it wasn't last year. It was May of this yeah. year. Yeah, it was, well, it was like a year <laughs> it's ago. It's confusing time. That, that pretty much is last it's March, year. Yeah, March, yeah, everything this year has been eight years long. So, I mean, all, right. Yeah, all right. So, the fall ball. So, guys, that gives you a little bit of time to figure out skins, uh, things like that. Like I said, we're going to have some activities throughout that week. So, kind of keep your eye on that. Um, okay, so survival game that is going to be. Oh, wait, one more thing. I'm gonna summon buddy then. <laughs> the 17th, hold on, hold on. This, nope, we, we changed the date on that. Then the 17th is the fall. We have a lot going on this month, guys. The 17th is the fall ball, the 18th is the DDR presents. So that is the ACO concert series. So you'll see, um, we will be announcing, I think, this upcoming week who that is. I can guarantee you a lot of you are going to love this one. Um, we're not saying who it is. If for some of you happen to, for some reason, no, please don't say anything. Okay. And then the following on the 24th, we had to change the date due to um, a scheduling conflict uh, so that we can get it streamed. So the 24th is going to be um, the these ACO survival games. Okay. So it gives you guys a little bit more time, a couple more weeks. Um, but yep. So the ACO survival games is on the 24th fall ball is on the 17th and the DDR is on, uh, the concert is on the 18th. So we've got a few things going on within the next three weekends. And on the 31st, we will be having our Halloween event. So which will actually be on Halloween this year. All right, so that kind of gives you guys a little rundown. I'll get all of these dates put into the event channel, as well as on the Siri, um, as well as um, in our actual calendar, which is in the ACO website. So, all right, does anyone have any questions about those dates or anything specific with those? So, I've got one more thing to go over, and then we're actually done. 
No? Wow, you guys are nice and quiet today. No idea what anything you said. Okay, well, I just went over dates and events, so I'm not really sure how else I can say that. So they are in chat if they were going about the um gold farm looting. Uh, yeah, JW I saw said. that. I don't quite know what's going to be said, so I'm a little not sure what's going on with that. But I don't um, know. All right. So okay. So last thing I want to talk about is kind of a sadder thing. Um, I really hate to have to tell you guys this, but unfortunately, Alyssa is having to step down as admin. Um, she had taken a break, as you guys know. She got really, really slammed with work. Uh, she is IT, as you guys are aware. And she did, she, she, oh gosh, where do I start? Um, so she took a break because when 2020 happened, um, you know, obviously a lot of things went remote. They went virtual. People started working from home um, that had never worked from home. So she had to basically help people set up everything online at home it was she has been pretty much slammed since march and um that has taken a toll on her um also mental health because you know with everything happening she herself had gotten sick at one point um and just a lot of stress with work uh she loves aco she loves the community she loves all of us so much um but it's just really irl stuff has just really taken a toll on her and she came back, started to come back last week, and within a few days, um, she just realized, I, I just, I don't have the time. It was just taking up the little bit she came back, um, just really uh, took the little bit of free time that she had that she really needed for mental health reasons um, away from her, and she, she needs to focus on herself. So right now with her work, it's just so busy, and... Um, and then, like I said, just trying to focus on herself. And she talked about that too. I don't know if a few of you were around when she said that, at, I think like a week or so ago. Um, but yeah, just, rem you know, take care of yourself. That's her big thing and wants everyone to know is do not ever be afraid to ask for help when it comes to, um, you know, mental health and getting therapy and taking care of yourself and being honest with yourself when you do need help and not trying to pretend you're okay when you're not. Um, and she's doing that and she's a great example of that. So we, um, Alyssa is one of my very good friends and we will definitely stay good friends and keep in touch. She will be definitely around to help out if I need help um, as far as, you know, server goes down and I can't reach AF or, or something like that. She's always been like that with us regardless. Even when she was on break, she helped out a lot that you didn't even know. So cough, cough, world edit. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> so anyway, um, but anyways, yeah, I, I just think she's I don't think she's watching right now, but if you guys wanted to put in like off topic or something, a little note to her, um, that would be great. She'll see it. I'll make sure she sees those. And, you know, maybe she'll be back, um, you know, when things calm down and life changes a little bit. I don't, you know, for her, a lot of, as you guys are aware, a lot of businesses are realizing, hey, working from home is not so bad. And what I don't think we'll ever really see what normal will be again, like what we used to know as normal. But that means for her and her field, she will be busy for a very long time. This is not the the little short couple month thing that originally um, we thought there was. So, yep. So, yeah. So if you guys want to send her a little note or something, letting her know in the um, off topic channel, that'd be great. She's really sad that she does have to step down, but um, sometimes these things are just needed. Similar to like, as you guys know, APL and AC had to step down for a little bit um, while he takes care of himself as well. So this has been a very hard year. It's been hard mentally. And, it, you know, we tell you guys all the time, breaks are important. Mental health is number one. Number one always comes over any game, always comes over many other things. So take care of yourselves. And if that means that you have to step away for a little bit to do that, then you have to step away and that's okay. So the thing is, with all this working from home, all these offices are realizing they don't need to pay insurance on an office. Mm -hmm. They just do it remotely. Electricity, like, rent, a lot. Rent, yeah. water, sewer, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Insurance, there's a lot. Exactly. And so more and more companies are realizing this now. And so there are no plans for them to go home. What that also means is, you know, Bob down the hall can't just help Karen over here with a simple little computer issue. Now Karen has to call Alyssa when Karen normally wouldn't have had to call Alyssa on top of all the other Karens calling Alyssa. So yeah, she's very busy. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm sorry to bring you the bad news. No, um, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering who's going to be the next admin. We don't have any plans to add another admin right now. Um, AF has been helping me a lot while, a while um, Alyssa was on break. He's, of course, as you guys know, 
full time on AC. I'm full time here. Um, we do. He does help out with things when I need it. Um, just like I will go over there and help out. Like uh, Sadie's taking a couple days off right now, so I'm back over there helping at night for them. Um, so we have a good working relationship um, as far as you know the admins helping on both sides and. Yeah, so we're going to be fine. And I'm like I said, my, you know, I hope that, you know, in a while at some point, they'll, she'll be back. So, all right. Now, does, uh, hold on one second. Whiskers, you said you had something to talk, an announcement from Pro Team. I'm a little, not sure what you're going to say because we haven't even had our firm Team meeting. But what were you going to say? Yeah, it's a shame that Void's not here to say it, but he's pulled it up with nope, me. No, I'm before. here to say it. It's not me too. Oh wait, it's Void. Oh yeah, go yeah, ahead. I'm Void. here. I'm here. Go ahead. I didn't notice you because you're not on the game. Okay, is this about the items in the farms? Uh yes, it's about the the fact that the, all the signs are confusing and people don't really know what to do there. Yeah. Okay. So I was going to talk to this about Bloom Private, but I can do an announcement. So basically, what I've noticed is that you know what happens is sometimes people use a farm for one specific item and leave other items behind, right? And what happens is those items sit in the chest. And when and the next player who uses the farm, it's a little bit confusing, right? Do I take this item or do I leave it because I didn't farm for it? Right now, there's not really a marked lost and found chest. So what happens is players either leave it behind and then another player takes it or the first player who sees it takes it. And then what happened was a few days ago, I don't know when exactly, Blue left some signs talking about a problem we've been having with people kind of like stealing gold while other people have been using the farm. And also kind of just people taking a lot of gold from the chest. But, the, you know, the hard part is, obviously, we don't want people taking gold while someone else is literally farming. That's obviously stealing. But if it's left behind with no one there, I'm thinking now I'm still going to have to talk to the admins because they might have a set idea on what we should do. But I might. Is it, hold on one second. Isn't there, does, I could have swore we did this for the iron farm. I literally made a chest area and put signs up saying. You are. You are correct, Blue, and I was and I was wanting to. Like, suggest, wait, I was wanting those to chests are still confusing, so though, well, because we have. It's it's. I don't know why it's confusing. It's literally well, called. This is why. Take so there's the a. Chest if you don't AFK, if you AFK, you take from this chest. Like how so, is that? Sure. There are two chests. There's the whole iron section. There's an iron block section, and there's a separate chest saying take from this chest if you didn't AFK. So if there's a, a separate chest over here saying take if you didn't AFK, what's the point of the iron block chest? I don't what, even know what iron... iron block chest is. I don't yeah. even know. And what's the is point that of that? You or well, if you well, I the way iron is there's like obviously the iron and then the poppies from the farm itself. And then to the side there's an anvil chest and an iron block chest. And okay. then even farther well, down to the left. I'm gonna stop an... this right now because this is not a player of the month talk at all. This yeah, I wasn't I didn't know why okay. we had I don't know just, why this got brought up. I am sorry, yeah, guys. Okay. I have the no idea. The team will get this figured out, and we will actually come out with an announcement that just literally says what you guys need to do from here on out. Is that okay, guys? Does that work for you, Void? It was mainly just bringing out the fact that just yeah, I have people no idea can why not steal their happen. gold. Okay. Well, that's... Well, which that's, something we have to sort out first, because there's a couple different directions we could take. Yes, exactly. This isn't just something we throw out at Players Month. We'd have to talk about first and see what we want to say. So, all right. So, guys, ignore all that. We will talk to you about Farm, farm Team. We'll get together and come out with an announcement, and you guys can check that out then. Um, real quick, though, I just want to say thank you guys for being so um, great about actually utilizing the Farm Team. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, if you want to build anything that's either automated or a farm, like a mob farm, or anything, uh, smelter, sorter, anything that's automated like that, you do need to submit that to the farm team. There is a list of guidelines, and, and make sure you check that. If you're under the guideline limit, let's say you want to make a smelter, and your smelter requires 20 furnaces, and you see the guideline is 25, you do not have to submit it. You can make your smelter. If it's something over that limit or over the hopper limit, you need to submit it. The farm team takes it, mocks it up. They do TPS checks. We check it, um, make sure everything is okay. And then we give you the thumbs up that you can go ahead and build it. This process, even though I know for some of you it might seem like a hassle, 
This process is keeping us from having to have set hard rules like on AC, like the 50 hopper rule. Like we do not have rules right now because of the farm team. So please, if you do seem to, you know, if you find yourself frustrated or something, please remember this farm team is the compromise that we have over setting rules. So the idea of the farm team is we'll never say no to you. We're going to try to give you alternative suggestions if it's something just will not work, like if it's just something that is just not possible. We won't ever just say no and walk away. We're going to try to help you get what it is you're trying to achieve, um, but it might not necessarily be in the build that you submitted. So just please uh, keep that in mind when you are submitting things. But thank you to those that have, and we're trying to get those, you know, we try to get back to you right away, but occasionally something does take a week or so. Um, so just try to be patient with that because we do have to mock all of these up and build them up on top of, have you guys, have you guys all had a chance to check out the new uh, farms? We have the new mob farm that's um, hey, active and I we have the tree farm. A, I actually have a question regarding the farm team. Uh, it, it's not a farm team meeting at all. If can you, can you ask no. it to the farm team and the farm team? No, no, no. I just have a question if, if I'm doing something right or not with the farm team. Okay. So what's that? So I know. I know at, at times I would have issues with, with like stuff that I've built with automation and I, and I would ask for help in, in the farmers teams channel. Is that, is that okay to do? That's what the channels are for. Yeah. Okay. Now you cannot ask them to build something for you. And if you're just asking a question, like, why is this not working? That's going to be mm -hmm. up to an individual to come and talk to you if they want. And if they have time, because they're really busy with doing mock-ups and trying yeah. to get all the submissions done. So yeah, because I know I've had Maestro help me with the smelter that I. That yeah, I that's just him it. out of the goodness of his heart doing that for you. It's not a farm team. We don't have a uh, we don't have a service like where you can, um, you know, like come and we'll we'll help you build stuff or anything like that. It's definitely we'll help you with approving it and and stuff like you know on that end. But yeah. So yeah. all right. So does anyone else have any other questions about anything we discussed today? The events coming up um the like channel or any other questions no okay cool all right so you guys all have a jakey's birthday party pack ready to go why do i have a ton of gold in my inventory yeah, okay I'm so only person uh dusty if you want to go ahead and do your outro we're gonna transition over to jakey's birthday uh Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you've all had a great time. Or, um, uh, remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. This is from Dusty Circa and another ACO Player of the Month. And peace out. Peace out. All right, guys. So make sure you have Jakey's pack applied. Jake